morning guys. Uh, today we're going to be talking about a very charismatic species, something that's uh, right, sort of very popular amongst a lot of different people, a lot of different facets, um, and a really exciting species to catch. We're obviously talking about the Dorado. Now, the Dorado goes by a lot of different names. Scientific name is uh, Corfina, Corfina, sorry, Epirus, which was originally named actually by Aristotle. So now we're talking long, 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 long back. Um, and he named it after its helmet head type shape, which is, we'll get into that when we talk about uh, the actual look of the fish. And then Hippurus comes from horsetail. That's not actually sure where that comes from, but yeah, anyway, that's where, that's the name derivation. Um, in terms of your common names, you've got dolphin fish, uh, obviously Dorado, uh, Mahi Mahi, which comes more from our uh, Hawaiian relatives. Then you've got uh, popcorn bream, jumping bream, um, and pretty much all sorts of amalgamations of those different names. Now, in terms of where you're going to find Dorado, they distributed worldwide in tropical seas. Um, you're going to find them in water from 21 to 30 degrees. That's going to be their sort of their home waters. In South Africa, um, you get them. We actually find Dorado in almost every ocean in the world. Just a short fact. Um, in South Africa, you're going to find them everywhere along our coast except on the Namibia slash Western Cape side of things, they don't go into the Benguela, but they will be further offshore, but still in line, so it's kind of counts. Um, but yeah, they're really more of a tropical species, obviously liking that 21 degrees plus. Now, they are a nomadic species, which means they don't sit in one spot. They're not gonna sort of reside around one little area. They're gonna move and go where the food is. They need to eat. They are pelagic species, they eat and grow, that's what they do. Now, talking about eating and growing, uh, they will literally eat almost anything. They have a real preference for squid, crustaceans and fish. As they grow up, obviously they move more to a, a primarily fish diet. And um, that's why we often, when we're targeting them, you're looking really around large uh, objects floating in the sea. So whether it is a big log floating in the sea or whether it's a ship, or something like that, something that's been there for a while, as soon as it's been there, it's obviously going to attract smaller stuff that's going to be floating around in the area. Um, plankton, uh, little shrimp, uh, small bait fish, things like that are going to be attracted to that as a form of shelter. And then obviously the Dorado know that's where those fish are going to be. And then it's going to focus in on that area to go and uh, go for a feed. So you find them from the surface, that's where they're going to be most comfortable, down to about 85 meters. Uh, they ideally like being in at least a pair, they don't like being alone, a pair or in a small shoal. So generally once you find one, you will find another one. And it'll, if it's just a pair then, you'll find a male and a female. Now what we did skip over was looks. The Dorado itself is a very, very interesting species. You've got a overall golden greeny color with a blue tinge on the top of the fish. They are elongated, so stretched from the, the nose to the tail. They have a very, very powerful tail, but it's quite a scissor-like tail. But it is a very strong strong tail like that. They are flattened from either side. So when you look at it head on, it's not a very um, wide fish. It is a very high fish. Now, the big difference between knowing a male and a female, the female has a quite a, a short sloping void if we look at do the hand model again. The female slopes back quite, quite quickly. This is the male, his head's gonna go up first like that and be a very steep forehead go up again. It's very, very easy to see once you get the two fish next to each other. Um, and it's obviously called a male and a cow when you talk about the, the male and female. Now, I mean a bull and a cow, I don't know what I'm talking about. Now, in terms of growth rates, Dorado is one of the fastest growing, if not the fastest growing fish in the ocean. They only, they only reach about, there's a maximum of about four years of age. So I mean that is a ridiculously short lifespan. And when you look at the maximum size, close to 40 kilos, you've got a fish that um, grows extremely, extremely quickly. Which means they do have to eat a lot, which means they are voracious uh, predators. And obviously then makes them easier to catch. Now. That maximum size was a fish of about two meters, um, and it was 39.5, I think, kilos. That was caught in Costa Rica. So that's really that side of the world is when you're going to get your bigger, bigger individuals. Our side, if anything, any fish over about 15 kilos is considered a very good fish. Um, but obviously, we do get them bigger. Now, that that extremely quick growth rate and short lifespan means they are not very sensitive to overfishing. 
they've actually done a study and this is not to say go and murder all the Dorado they actually are an underexploited species so they can take a lot more pressure now when it comes to targeting them there are a lot of different methods as we mentioned they do associate with flotsam which is that anything floating around the surface or on the surface itself and uh, that's really where we like to target them. If you're throwing lures around there, throwing flies, throwing spoons, poppers, or pitching live baits around that sort of area, um, you're really likely to find the Dorado very quickly. Now, you can also trawl lures through that area. And then when it comes to trawling lures, you've got your lip lures and your skirted lures are really the two main things you're gonna be fishing for them for. Dorado love pink, so any sort of pink accents on your lure are really gonna help you uh, target them or single them out of the, the big amalgamation of fish we catch. Um, they are prized species and they are a delicacy to eat. They're actually called the chicken of the sea by some. So it's a really nice meaty meaty flesh and being a species that can take a bit of bit of extra angling pressure, it's something that we really recommend you target over something like bottom fish. Um, so yeah, the Dorado, uh, very cool species, um, very nice to catch. Once you've hooked them, they generally leap out of the water multiple times. So it's a really visual species to catch. And uh, yeah, that blue, that greeny uh, yellow color does fade once they've died. So it's nice to release them with that color on them. Still, still sort of a, a pretty fish. Anyway, the Dorado, beautiful species, nice uh, for the offshore guys. Not really an inshore species. There, there have been some caught from the rocks before on lures and live baits, but they're really more of a, a deep water or deeper water species. So yeah, Dorado. Cheers. Mm -hmm.